Hello everyone, I welcome you all in this course Discrete Mathematical Structures and Combinatorics. In this lecture, I will give you an introduction of this course. I will discuss different types of discrete mathematical structures, why it is required for a student of computer science, what are the objectives of studying this course. So let us start. So first, let us try to understand the meaning of discrete. Simply go to Google and type discrete meaning. Then you will get this answer individually separate and distinct. It means discrete means we are talking about individually separate and distinct objects. For example, if you talk about integers 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are discrete objects. Now discrete mathematical structures whenever we talk about a structure a structure means a structure is made of certain things for example if you talk about a building building is itself a structure it is formed of bricks and bricks are you know you can count bricks so you can say bricks are discrete objects and building is a structure based on you know, formed on these bricks so when we talk about discrete mathematical structure it means we are talking in the term of mathematics. So discrete structures are abstract mathematical structures used to represent discrete objects and relationship among these discrete objects. So for example, sets, relations, graphs and trees. So these are some of the discrete mathematical structure. We will study other discrete mathematical structures also. Now, why to study discrete mathematics? Discrete mathematics provides a strong mathematical foundation for many computer science courses like data structure and algorithms, database theory, formal languages and automata theory and so on. So, if you have a sound knowledge of discrete mathematics, then it's very easy for you to understand different courses in computer science. In almost every computer science subject, discrete mathematics is the key thing. If you have a sound knowledge, then you can understand almost all things in computer science, all courses in computer science. Now, objectives. The first one and the most important objective is to understand mathematical reasoning and to understand mathematical argument because mathematical reasoning is the base of all other discrete structures. Second one is to understand the various methods of proofs. Once you understand mathematical reasoning, then you will be able to understand different methods of proof and then you can apply them further wherever required. Understand various discrete structures. You will learn or understand different discrete structures like, say, like set, relation, function, partial order set, lattices and further uh, these concepts are applicable in other courses. So understand basics of counting techniques. You will learn different counting techniques, permutations, combinations, and you can apply these to solve the complex problems in enumeration. You will understand graphs, trees, and their properties. And these are very important. You will see in data structure and other these, these concepts are very important. These are some books you can refer. Other than these, number of books are available, a number of resources in web are available. So you are free to go through any book or any material. But the important thing is to go through every lecture and try to understand these concepts. If you have a problem in any of the concepts, you can write it or uh, you can make a comment, you can ask. But just go through every lecture and try to understand every concept. So if you do this, and I hope that you can, and you will have a sound knowledge of discrete mathematics and this will be very helpful for you in future. So thank you. I'm looking for a great learning once again.